to export it. I need to pay somebody who wants to pay somebody for my product to come out. And that's greed. So you need to pay four people first to get your product out of Zim. It's all corruption. It's, it's just corruption. Mm. But if all these people had to get together and help each I mean, I see how these white people are doing here. White people, these white guys are not greedy. So this is what they do. So I met what some guys. There are five of them. They said, okay, they didn't have the money. So what they did was they went to the bank. Each person had to go and apply for a credit card. They each got 200,000, 200,000. So they ended up with one million rand. Mm. They took the one million rand credit card and then they started the one farmer. He started planting lettuce. After six weeks, he started harvesting lettuce. He's made two million rand. He takes the two million rand, pay, then they invest it into the next person. Mm. By the end of six months, all five of them had already, they had farms fully operational. But Zimbabweans don't want to do that. Zimbabweans don't want that. But, but specifically black Zimbabweans. Mm. It's a black, specifically black Zimbabweans. Because the white guys that are farming here are the same guys that we've been farming in Zim. Now, when Mugabe started sorting out his black people, they started running to South Africa. Now, this is where they are. So the but problem is not that Zimbabwe is bad. It's Zimbabwe is not bad. Zimbabwe is not. Zimbabwe is rich. It's great. We are too great. I mean, when I say we, I'm South African, mm. black South African, but it's the same. Yeah. Because we also don't help each other. Trust me, as black South Africans, we also don't help each other. It's, mm. it's this, you know, there's this pull, pull him down syndrome. Mm. I don't want to see Eric uh, uh, succeeding. So I'm going to make sure that, you know what, I'm going to be jealous and then pull. Uh, that's the same same thing I always say to ladies. I say women will be far if they were not pulling each other down. They will be very far. Same thing as what Zimbabweans are doing. Trust me, if I had to get a piece of land in Zim, I have a man, I'll be gone. Where would you market your stuff if you had a, if you had Look, a piece of land I'm in now Zim? Sitting, I'm sitting with four export companies, as we speak right now. Four export companies that are saying, once you're ready, please, can we take your produce? Okay, so now... And you know where they saw my produce? To make market floor. Mm. So now you've basically said to me, as we sit, the three of us here, mm -hmm. you are saying, if you've got money, let's put money together, let's yeah. do this. Yeah, but we do it big. Here's one Two million rand is required. Here's what we do. The golden rulings are in for me. Whatever you do, do it big. Mm. Whatever, anything that you want to do. If you want to plant spinach, go big. You want to plant beans, go big. Anything that you do, go big. Because what mm. you then do is... You are so well known at the market. I mean, look, I'm only operating 4,500 square meters of greenhouses on paper. Mm. That's nothing. That's probably about 500, 400 boxes a day. Mm. I need to be sending about two, 3,000 boxes a day mm. to the market. And you will not, you will find buyers. No, no. I have buyers that I'm not even, <laughs> that I'm not nowhere near meeting the demands. Yeah. Yeah. As we speak right now. Freshmark wants all this. I've got a guy who's in Cape Town, he wants this. I've got Mr. Matlang who's in Clayville, he wants this. I've got guys at Jew Chris, they want this. Mm. 